There is worse to come. Even if we could plan for the next catastrophe, it won't make any difference. Ice sheets several miles deep pushing down from the poles will be unstoppable. A global ice age is coming. How do we know? It has happened before, and one of the first clues was pulled from the La Brea tar pits. To find an ice-loving woolly mammoth was a big surprise. To find it in the heat of California was a mystery. Could California have once been covered in ice? Could it happen again? To find out, scientists need a record of changes in the climate, stretching back tens of thousands of years. It turns up in the layers of sediment at the bottom of the ocean. Marine geologist Professor Peter Domenical is searching for clues to Earth's frozen past. Deep sea sediments are really unique archives of past climate change because the sediments in the ocean accumulate very continuously and very slowly over time. So they present us with this kind of history book of past climate change. These tiny chunks of rock in the sediment hold the answer to the USA's frozen past and to its future. Deposited 10,000 years ago, how they got here is astonishing. Icebergs carry all these rocks and they hold them inside the iceberg and then they melt. As the iceberg melts, it drops its load. And that's how we find these big pebbles out in the middle of the ocean. Icebergs once floated off the coast. As the bergs melted, the rocks they carried from the north sank to the seafloor. 10,000 years ago, much of North America is in the grip of an ice age. But what causes a big freeze? The answer isn't found beneath the geologists' feet, but over their heads, in outer space. The Earth orbits the Sun in an ellipse that gradually changes shape over time. The tilt of the Earth to the Sun also changes. Calculations suggested that the interaction of these changes could flip the climate from warm to cold and back again. It's called the Milankovitch cycle, after the man who discovered it. His orbital calculations showed that the Earth flipped from ice age to warmth 10,000 years ago, the exact age of the sediments Domenical has found. It was shocking when, when the evidence came out that there was this uh, very close correspondence between the astronomical calculations and then really the geologic record. People were just blown away. But what about the future? The orbital effect is called the Milankovitch cycle because it happens over and over again. We're well on our way actually into the next ice age. That's something most people don't really uh, fully appreciate. Climate was significantly warmer five and 10,000 years ago, and then we've been gradually headed into this much cooler climate. Domenical believes the Earth will be plunged into another global ice age within 30,000 years. If the last one is anything to go by, the next will be worse. Because in the last ice age, there were just five million humans. Now, there are six billion. Could we all survive? <laughs>